Supreme Pool Series, event number one, the Jason Owen Open. Apologies for the slight delay, it's normal with live things, you can't judge what's going on, but they're all ready to go now. Uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, thank the sponsors who have supported the series. That would be Supreme Pool, Strachan, Aramith, Jason Owen, K8.com and Home Leisure Direct. Thanks for your support, it's much needed in the game of pool. Um, we have 120 players in the draw. The way the draw will be done, we have got eight uh, to be confirmed, which are listed here. They will be in the draw. Gareth will take one and put it onto the uh, provided little marker there, and then Darren will match it up. It will all come apparent, because we do have a graphic, which we'll show you now. There's a graphic, you can see on number three there, the TBC one is already in the draw. So a player will come up against that player as he gets drawn out of the hat. OK, without further ado, Gareth Potts and Darren Sean will do the draw. Over to you guys. Best of luck to everybody. OK. Number 53. Number 53 is Cameron Dunlop. Number six. He will play Alex Bailey. Next number. Number eighty nine. Number eighty nine. So we're back, we're back. We're back. Same length, guys. On your length. Just on Facebook, it's on Facebook, on the page. Should be straight on. Back on. Check on your phone. Back on. Okay, apologies for that everyone. I think we're we're back on now. So the the third number that I took out, which is the second match down, was number eighty-nine. Yeah, number eighty-nine is Adam Marlowe. He will play. Number fourteen. And number 14 is a qualifier, Q Academy. Next number. Okay. So the next number is the TBC1. He will play... Number 25. Number 25 is Matt Brearley. Next number. The next number is 95. Number 95 is John Bushnell. Number 106. He will play David McNamara. Next number. Number 60. 
Number 60 is Yazine Zaroni. Number 27. And number 27 is Phil Naylor. Next number. Number 99. Number 99 is Richard King. And he will play... 104. 104 is Lewis Calcutt. Next number. 94. Number 94 is Shane Thompson. Number 36. And number 36 is Jason Shaw. It's quite a big first round one there. Next number. 28. Number 28 is Gavin Robinson. He will play. Number 59. Number 59 is Eddie Barker. Okay, so that completes the first section of the draw. So effectively, the winner of that first section would be in what would be the winner's quarter final. So we'll move on to the next section. Eight. Number eight is Cole Bedford. Number ninety. He will play number ninety, which is Matthew Schofield. Next number. So the next one is the TBC two. Wait. He will play number ninety seven. Number 97 is Nabil Buard. Next number. Ninety-three. Number ninety-three is Yannick Bofields. He will play. Number twenty-two. Number twenty-two is Adam Davis. Good first round there again. Next number. 74. Number 74 is Phil Malam. Number 7. Number 7 is a qualifier, Throbbers. Hundred and nine. Hundred and nine is Drew Hughes. He will play. Number eighty-three. Number eighty-three is Jeremy Hooper. Next number. Number sixty-one. Number sixty-one is Jake Dylan Newlove. He will play. Number 12. Rax Pool Club qualifier. Next number. 37. Number 37 is Darren Appleton. One of the we'll big play. names. We'll play. Number 57. Number 57, Clint Ianson. Wow, what about that for a first Good game? Enough. Next number. 24. Number 24 is a qualifier, Indiana 2. The winner's going to play number 33. Number 33 is Ian Alley. Yeah, so that concludes the second section of the draw. Like I said before, the winner of 
that section will effectively be into the quarterfinals of the winner's side. I think uh, match number 15 there might get on the stream table. Yeah, sorry, point. <laughs> Okay, we'll move on to the next section. One hundred and eight. One hundred and eight is Greg Batten. Nice job. He will play. One hundred and nineteen. That's another qualifier, spots and stripes. Next number. 31. Number 31 is John McAllister. He will play. Number 40. Number 40, Dom Cooney. Next number. So the next number is the TBC 3. Well played. 86. Number 86 is Jason Morris. Number 16. Michael Steele. He will play. Number 87. Jamie Graham. Next number. Eighty eight. Number eighty eight is Ben Rowland. Yeah, the next number twenty. Number 20 is Omar Mounted. So just apologies for that one there, the first one that come out. We have Hamed come up on the screen. That's not who it is. I'll just come in there, guys. I didn't tell the stream guys to change the name. It's all been changed now, so... Yeah, apologies. That was, uh, that was an error from our end. So that is now match number 21 is Ben Rowland. And he's going to play number he's 20. He's going to play number 20. Which is Omar Muchid. Sixty five. Number sixty five is Rob Warren. He will play. Number sixty eight. Number sixty eight is Ryan Clark. Next number. 66. Number 66 is Liam Dunster. Number 100. Number 100 is Andrew McKee. Is a good game? One hundred two. Number one hundred and two is Bash Maksud. He will play. Number ten. Dean Richardson. Okay, so that concludes the next section. So we now move on to the fourth section. to the fourth one. Number one, Jay Dewar. Number 70. Number 70 is Liam White. What favourite from Stoker? Next number. 45. Number 45 is Chris Day. 
Number 64. And number 64 is Ryan Pisani. Next number. So the next number is the TBC4. <clears throat> he will play. Number 50. Number 50 is Carl Sutton. Nine. Number nine is Carl O'Donoghue. <coughs> 117. Play. Sean Chipperfield. It's another big game and exciting one for the cameras, that one. Next number. Forty-seven. Number 47 is Max Nosco. We'll play number 44. Number 44 is Stephen Dempsey. Another big game. Next number. 77. Number 77 is Simon Fitzsimons. Thirty-nine. Number thirty-nine is Darren McVicker. Number thirty-four. Number thirty-four is Gaz Ruids. Number five. Number five is Scott Muscat. That's one of the section. Number 51. Number 51 is Neil Raybone. Neil's got his got number 78. He will play number 78, Craig Waddingham. Wow. Another good game. So that'll be the tie of that round. Okay, so that concludes the fourth section. And uh, although there's some big names come out so far, there's still a lot of big names in that hat there. And for me, there could still be a lot of huge, huge draws because, uh, like I said, there's a lot that have come out. But there's also a lot of the, the top, top boys that are still in there. So there's maybe going to be some big ones coming up. On to the fifth section. 85. Number 85 is Scott Gillespie. And that would be one of them. He will play. Number 71. Number 71, Mark Astbury. Next number. 63. Number 63 is Craig Marsh. There's another one. Current IPA world champion. Number 82. Number 82 is Mason Penny. Sorry, Mason. That would have been Mikkel. Oh, we've just informed that that would have been Mikkel. He sold his spot. He sold his spot in the draw because he can't make the first event, so. Next number. Number two. Number two is Gary Clark. Number 111. Number 111 is Craig Lakin. <coughs> okay, the next number in the number 36 is the TBC5. He will play. Number 73. Number 73 is Gareth Higgins. Number 116. Number 116 is Mandy Zinger. Number 116 is Mandy Zinger. 
Number 114. He will play Tobias Bolt. Next number. Ninety-one. Number ninety-one is Jordan Church. And the big name. He will play. He will play number forty-three. Number forty-three, Lee Clough. Oh, great game. And that might be one for the stream. Next number. Twenty-one. Number twenty-one is Jimmy Croxton. See Jimmy's go. He will play. Number 103. Number 103. Christy Caulfield. Next number. 67. Number 67 is Sean Story. Last one for section 5. Here's number. He will play. 13. Number 13. Kevin George. Okay, so that completes the draw there for the fifth section. Like I said before, the winner of that section there will be into what is the winner's quarter final. It's got to be Jordan Church and Lee Clough there. Yeah, and those matches are obviously all in order there, so the winner of those matches obviously plays the one above. Okay, next section. Next number. 118. Number 118 is Mike King. Number 72. Number 72, Radiani Himu. Number 72, Radiani Himu. Number 56. Number 56 is Mark Farnsworth. There's a big one. There's a big game. He will play. Number 110. Number 110, Mark Fleming. Next number. 84. Number 84 is Sam Bircher. Number 52. Number 52 is a qualifier, Indiana 3. Next number is TBC 6 in match number 44. Another play. Number 98. Number 98, Sanjay Patel. Hundred and twelve. Hundred and twelve is Scott Ross. With a big name. He will play. Number thirty-two. Number thirty-two, Chris Melling. Oh, that's a big game. It's definitely an attacking one. That. Next number. I don't think you'll need a shot clock. Number fifteen. Number fifteen, off and dad. He will play. Number 76. Number 76, Dan Davey. Wow, what about that for a section? It's getting tough. Next number. Number 30. Number 30, Ben Lewis. He will play. Number 35. <laughs> Number 35 is Lee Washbrook. Number four. Number four is a qualifier, players one. He will play. Number 62. Number 62, Michael Smout. Okay, that concludes the sixth section. Obviously the standout matches there are 
Scott against Chris and obviously the one below it, Orphan and Dan uh, and Dan Davy is huge as well, so I think both of those are gonna be on the stream tables. Okay. Move on we'll move on to seven. the seventh section. First name. <coughs> Number forty six. Number forty six is Callum Singleton. Number 19. Number 19. Jez Graham. Seventy five. Number seventy five. Ross Smith. Number eighty. Number eighty. Carl Morris. Next number. One hundred and twenty. One hundred and twenty. Otman and Nudi. Number eleven. Number eleven. He will play. Number eleven. Gareth Hibbert. Sorry, Otman. Okay, match number 52 is the TBC7. He will play. He will play number 107. 107. Richard Toomey. Next number. Twenty-three. Number twenty-three. Jordan Shepherd. That's a big name. Jordan's going to be playing. He will number play. Thirty-eight. Number thirty-eight. Partab Singh. Next number. Number twenty-six. Number twenty-six, Zach Shepherd. He will play. Number forty-two. Number forty-two, Jordan Templeton. The next number. One hundred and five. One hundred and five, Stefan Rizidi. Number 54. He will play number 54, which is Carl Boys. Big name. Okay. Next number. 18. Number 18 is Jack Whelan. The last one for section seven. Name. And he will play. Number 79. Number 79, Mark Boyle. Wow. <laughs> The last one there has just stole the stream table, I think. So that concludes the matches for section seven. Okay, we move on to the last section. Number 49. Number 49, Josh Kane. He's a good player. He will Number 29. Play. Number 29. Brian Halcrow. Number 29. 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 Three. Number three, Liam Pedley. Number fifty five. Number fifty five, five, Neil Wren. Okay, match number sixty is the last TBC. Number eight. He will play. 
Number 113. 113, Phil Harrison. So, that's a, one of the biggest ones in there, I would say. Next number. <coughs> Forty-one. Number forty-one, Rich Wharton. He will play. Number ninety-two. Number ninety-two, Ben Davis. That's a big one this section. Sixty-nine. Number sixty-nine is a qualifier. Indiana one. He will play. Number 96. Number 96. Andy Barber. One hundred and one. Number 101. Tom Cousins. Also one of the biggest. He will play. Number 115. 115. Paul Riley. Seventeen. Number seventeen, George Tierney. And if your name hasn't been drawn out, this is you. Number fifty-eight. Number fifty-eight, Rob Chilton. Oh, what a game. So there's a lot of games in that section, obviously depending who Phil plays, but you have two players there in Phil and Tom Cousins that in my opinion will be amongst the favourites, especially for the World Rules events. So them two are gonna have to play each other before what would be the quarterfinals of the winner's side. So that completes the first half of the draw. OK, we'll have a quick run through it then, guys. Uh, first big one that come out was Shane Thompson against Jason Shaw. I mean, that's a cracking match. Obviously, uh, not, not being on the stream, to be honest. Yeah, it'll obviously be interesting to see where Jason's at with his game, because, you see... We know what he's doing in the, in the, the American eight, uh, eight ball and nine ball world, but it'll be interesting to see how he comes back to obviously his roots of English eight ball. See Shane Thompson's playing, you know, all the time, playing all the events, and uh, he's one of the top players. So uh, I think that's a it's a close game. It'll be interesting to see how they mark it up on the betting. Yeah, and talking about the betting, I was a, a miss to miss out. Jed is going to be doing the book again this year, the Winning Post, with one of our sponsors. So. Uh, Please place all your bets through the winning post and Jed, he's on Facebook. Uh, we also do the Calcutta where you can buy your players and um, back your man, get your syndicates going as Rusty would say. But going back onto the draw, I mean the next one that came out was Yannick against Adam Davis. I don't think that would be one of the quickest matches but certainly a tough match for both of them. Yeah, I certainly don't think it will be one of the quickest, certainly at, at the World Rules. Um, both tactically very good so for the connoisseurs of the game that will be the one. And then the big clash, I would say, of the, the the round there in that section, Darren Appleton and Clint Tyanson. Yeah, again, I'm really looking forward to seeing how one of the all-time greats in Darren uh, performs because obviously he's been out of the game a long time, and the difference between English eight ball and you know certainly with the the nine ball and the equipment and the balls, uh, it isn't easy to come back and adapt. So it'll be interesting to see what sort of Darren Appleton comes back but even the best Darren Appleton there has still got a very tough game against Clint Yeah I mean Clint is right at the top of his game at the moment isn't he and for Darren to come back as you say and play English pool is going to be a big ask Yeah and you know Clint is one of one of the best players around at the minute I love the way he plays, I like his game, I like his temperament so um, you know I, I certainly don't think Clint will, will, be, will be scared of anybody And the next one I noted was Carlo Donoghue and uh, Chip is he call him, Sean Chipperfield, I mean that would be a rapid match I think. It would be a rapid match and that one has to be on the stream table because, you know, let's be honest, we all want to watch exciting and attacking pool and you won't really get too many more exciting and attacking matches than that one. Yeah, I mean what I will do, I, I will do a poll again but I'm pretty sure the poll will speak for itself. Everybody will have the favourites but we are streaming on four tables, there will be a match arena so the the one that we choose will be on the match arena and then we can vote on the others so the next three will uh, 
go on to the other three, t three stream tables. Uh, and then going down the draw again, you had Max against Stevie Dempsey. Another good matchup. Yeah, it's a good one. And they, they both have got good followings. They both, obviously, Max plays probably more money matches than anyone else on the planet, I would say. So, you know, he's got a huge following. And playing in all those matches is obviously the reason, or one of the reasons why his games improve so much. So, um, you know, don't be surprised to see Max sort of do well in that section. Yeah, he's not known for his tournaments, but he certainly is known for his money matches. Um, next one, Neil Raybone against Warning and Craig Warning. It's, it's a great matchup. It's a great matchup. I love the way Neil plays again. A little bit like Clint. He plays the game, in my eyes, what I call properly. Uh, really attacking. Doesn't necessarily run around the table. Would be maybe one of the slower players, but uh, he does play the game properly. Doesn't crash into balls. Doesn't go, you know, winging at things. And I think at World Rules, obviously, that's what you need. But he obviously is playing against someone there that has huge firepower in Waddingham. Yeah, and if you look on the screen now, you can see that is a section of the draw they've got. So you've got Rayburn, Waddingham, uh, Simon Fitzsimons, Dempsey, Max, so, Ch Chipperfield, O'Donoghue, Sutton, you know. It's a contrasting match, that, going back to the Rayburn Waddingham game, because obviously Waddingham, he has got a lot of firepower and he has got a huge break, uh, where Neil's break would probably probably be the weakest part of his game but what he lacks for in that obviously he does make up in all the other areas so that'll be an interesting match and the good part about double elimination only one of those players will make it through to the last eight of the winner's side but they, the others can still you can still come through the, the other side and the loser's side and get through to the quarterfinals yeah okay on to the next one it was Jordan Church Lee Clough how do you see that one yeah, well that is a complete contrast isn't it I mean I don't think you could get a, a more of a contrast in, in two styles and two players. I mean, obviously Lee Clough's back playing now, and before he went away, he was one of the greatest players and probably the greatest single frame player I've ever seen. You know, playing down and great helmet back in the years for the Interleague and County, he would have been probably number one on any player's team sheet, any, any team sheet. So, but Jordan is unbelievably talented and is capable of beating anybody 11 11 2. So, uh, I don't know how they're going to mark that one up. OK, then you have Boss Man against the Magician, Scott Ross, Chris Mallin. Again, that one for me is up there as, as exciting as the O'Donoghue Chipperfield match. Both of those play, obviously. don't need me to sit here and tell you how good Chris Mallin is to watch. Uh, and playing against someone that also plays as attacking, uh, I think that one is, is the one that does stand out for me in all, in all of those that you've got written down there. OK, and the last one I marked down was Jack Whelan, former world champion. He's Mark Boyle, who's um, a lot of people's favourites in many of the tournaments. Yeah, uh, Mark Boyle's a great player, hits the ball really nice, unbelievable cue action. Uh, only ever really seen him in the, in the black ball, obviously this event's world rules, but obviously I'm sure by the time this comes around he'll be fine-tuned into the world rules. Jack, really, really talented. Maybe going through a bit of a, a bad spell at the minute by his standards, but obviously as a former world champion, and again, that's a it's a really close match. And again, looking at the section on the screen there, you can see Jack, Mark, Carl Boys. Um, and you've got somebody else there that is unbelievably exciting to watch, and Richard Toomey. He's playing against the TBC number seven, but huge break and very talented, and certainly someone for the stream tables. And also Hibbert, former world champion. Again, Carl Morris, it's a great section. and It sort of says a lot about the tournament. All these sections are hard to call. And there's great champions in all of them. Yeah, there's great champions and there's a lot of the big and the, uh, you know, supposedly the top, top players that have come out that, are, that, that people class as the big guns, if you like. But I do think there's still a load more to come from the, the bottom section. So I do think that the, 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 there could be some even bigger matchups for the first round to come from the bottom section. Is that the one there with the um, the Chilton section? Chilton Cousins, Ben Davis, Harrison. Only one can get through this section. Al Crow, Kane, McCarthy, Leary. You know, it's a real tough. Yeah, for me, that's one. That's probably the, the the most loaded section there because you've got Phil Harrison uh, and you've got Tom Cousins that have come out in the same section and certainly at the World Rules at the minute and. The, the, the tournaments that, that, that those two have won on the World Rules side over the last couple of years. Uh, 
I'm sure the bookies will have have those inside the top sort of three or four favourites for the for the whole event. And a player we've missed out is uh, the guy that causes a lot of who uh, are on Facebook, George Turney, the real number one. He's got one hour of a section to come through to prove that title he gives himself. Yeah, he has, and if he comes through that section, then I think that uh, that, that that title might be a bit justified alone just coming through that section. But yeah, obviously, it's great to have him in the event. He is a character, and uh, he does he does bring a lot. He does bring a lot to the game. Also, someone there as well that I personally like the way he plays is Josh Kane, that's come out of the top of that section against. Brian Alcro, who is obviously a bit of a blast from the past, but he's got his own club and plays all the time. He's back playing quite a few money matches and he's very good tactically, especially at the World Rules. Yeah, and the current Masters champion, but you know, there's names that we haven't mentioned. We've picked the highlighted players, but you know the other players are, are all top players and I'm sure it'll be a great tournament for everybody to tune in and watch in May. So I think we'll wrap everything up. Thanks very much, guys, for tuning in for the draw. I think we had about 500 people online watching. Uh, tune in, we'll, we'll uh, start on the 4th of May four live stream matches, you're welcome to come to play as a watch and it'll be a great event see you soon